Imagine having no control over the biggest day of your life, your wedding day. I'm really freaking out. Or worse, that all control has been given to your mother. Or even more horrific, your mother-in-law. I have nightmares about it every night. This is Gina Soleil, wedding planner extraordinaire. I love it, I love it. She creates stunning weddings for her clients. I need 500 by Friday. Her standards are high, and she demands and gets the best for her client's big day. Meet Matt and Desiree. They're going to have to deal with Gina's little twist. You need to hand over complete control of your wedding to one of your mothers. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> I can apparently be somewhat intimidating. I like to have things my way. Will this be the wedding of their dreams or a total nightmare? Are you really thinking I'm going to wear this? I don't even know if it's going to work out. So may the best mom win. Desiree and Matt are a fun-loving couple who prove yeah, opposites know. attract. <laughs> Matt tends to be shy when he doesn't know you. Desiree is um, very outgoing, lots of energy. <laughs> Can you please hurry up? I'm ready and you're not. What's wrong? You're a turtle. Really busy. You could help. Just got to put my shoes on. Oh my god, are you kidding? Matt and I met five years ago. At the time, I had a boyfriend, but turns out he swept me off my feet. Once I realized she was it, I went in for the kill. <laughs> <laughs> so what kind of a wedding ring do you want? Gold and diamonds. A couple years ago, I fake proposed with the candy ring. It didn't go over too Hilarious. well. <laughs> Hilarious joke, by the way. But uh, this time, I put the real engagement ring into the candy wrapper. More than candy, fortunately. <laughs> Good boy. Matt and Desiree live at Matt's mom's house. Could I have a little bit more peanut butter, please? Content and taken sure. care of, Matt's happy to stay put. I'd love to see you taking more of an interest in this wedding. I'm stressing about my dress and the food. As long as there's food and drink, I'm happy. So much to get organized. The reason we're getting married now is because we're moving into our home so soon, which we're very excited about. I know I want to spend the rest of my life with her, so there's no putting off the inevitable. Romantic. <laughs> Romance or not, there won't be a wedding without Gina's professional help. Desiree and Matt are getting married, and I'm here to help them. But there are a few details that they don't know about just yet. I'm here to make your wedding day dreams come true. We'd appreciate the help, <laughs> definitely. There is one condition, though. You need to hand over complete control of your wedding. The place, theme, venue, the menu, to one of your mothers. But not every detail. Like, I can pick my dress and maybe the colors and that sort of thing, just to make sure. Even dress. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> Serious. Oh. Oh, boy. Which mother? Well, you'll get to choose. OK. Are you prepared to do this? Let's give it a go. So I guess, I guess we could work with it, maybe. So let's go get married. Yay. All right. <laughs> Desiree, I don't think really had a grasp on giving total control to the moms and what it meant. Matt seems pretty easy breezy. It's definitely going to be a struggle. Bring on the moms. Desiree's mom, Lorette, is all about appearances, fashion, and design. She likes to be in control, and she's not shy about sharing her opinion with her only daughter, Desiree. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sort of a type A personality, or so I've been told. I like looking classically elegant so that when you go into a store, people ask you if you would like some help instead of ignoring you. Lorette's very much the person who's in charge. I can apparently be somewhat intimidating. She opened her arms to me. Uh, from the first time we met? The first time he showed up, he brought a gift. He didn't speak, and every time since then, for about three years, he would bring gifts, but he wouldn't speak. My mom, Lorette, is a phenomenal lady. We've got a big Christmas party coming up for the parenting class. She's organized. I like things to be neat and orderly. I like everything to be color-coded. I have all the pillows in order. My closet, all the grays are in one area and the reds are in the other. I like the cleanness of it. She's who I would like to be in a number of years with a few minor tweaks. <laughs> 
Matt's mom, Ann, is all for country home cooking and cozy family comfort. I have a special snack for you. I am very casual. That's me, because I know that if I'm going to have my grandchildren and children around to have fun at my place, that's the way I need to be. Ann is a free spirit. I've been married a long time. Got married when I was 12. No. <laughs> no, I've been married for 40 years. There's no common ground between these moms. We're completely different. Anne's style, I would say, is more country, cozy, comfortable. Lorette is more into the city life. In her house, you could just come in and put your feet up so on the couch and, you know, it's, it's all good, dogs and animals. It's small children, if they drop things on the floor, that's okay. Fishy kiss. Mm. <laughs> it's been great having Desiree and Matthew live here. She looks really pretty. Anne loves it because she's bonding. I'm getting to know her really well. <laughs> I'm so she's excited. She's like a daughter to me. I'm not so crazy about it. I miss having Des around. These families have very different views on the big day. Something that's a bit out of the ordinary. Very traditional. Lights and sparkle. Chocolate, chocolate everywhere. Very sophisticated, chic. Jackie Onassis. <laughs> she overthinks every, every aspect of design. Dark earthy tones, huh. simple, elegance, chic. Maybe some candied apples, beaver tails. It would be absolutely dramatic if Matt and Desiree came into the wedding on two horses. Oops. Does Matt even know what he wants? Main course, beef, chicken, um, salad, dessert. With so many conflicting ideas, it's time for Gina to lay down some rules. Moms, you have two days to put together your vision of what you would love your children's wedding day to be. One mom's idea will be chosen. Um, they should be interesting. The losing mom will have to help the winning mom with planning out the entire wedding. Wow. OK. OK. <laughs> I was having a hard time digesting it all. You're doing everything. So you would even be responsible for picking my dress, planning the I guest list. I didn't even do that for my own wedding. Well, this is this is it. Okay, this is what you have, have to do. Yep. This will be a real test. I am not a good follower. I'm also a pretty determined person. So we're all on board? I'm good with it. For sure. OK. So may the best mom win. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Coming up with an inspired wedding vision in just 48 hours is going to be the ultimate test for these moms. And whatever Desiree and Matt decide on, they're going to have to live with that for the rest of their lives. And the whole idea of assisting doesn't work for me. I'm a born leader. I'm a Leo. <sighs> See me roar. Lorette, soon we will be in-laws. But until then, it's in-law wedding wars. Each mom has just 48 hours to find items that explain their wedding vision. No, 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 no. I'm a bit concerned. Uh, my mom's very detail-oriented. I'm worried that she won't focus on the bigger picture um, and get caught up in all of these nitty-gritty details that will overwhelm her. Dark chocolate, milk chocolate, and then sort of a cappuccino kind of color. You told me that those are good for weddings, right? They're popular for weddings? They're very classy as well. If Anne were to plan the wedding, I can picture things that maybe are outdated. I love that. Dazzling. Maybe things that wouldn't be my choice. Two kissing doves, the bride and groom. I love these candied apples. They're such a dark, brilliant red. Gina will present the mom's visions to the couple. One mom will win, the other will lose. I really appreciate it. She's the person that worries about the dress and everything. I'm just there to have a good time. Ready or not, it's time for the moms to show their stuff. How are you? Put all these oh glittery things down. <laughs> I'm just going to throw some things on the table until I get a little organized here. OK. What's your vision here? Black and white wedding. OK. Very dramatic, with crimson red as an accent color, and with some nature. Bring it to life like a winter wonderland. Can we move your, uh, your yeah. binder there? Yeah, yeah. Thanks. Thanks. Sure. Oh, OK. <laughs> wow. This is a full-blown concept work. This is fantastic. Lots of sparkle. Chocolate, sort of Jackie Kennedy. The idea that chocolate is very regal. Some fudge. Classy. Some candied apples. Beaver tails. Something that's tasty and lovely and just like love itself. 
This is the cake. You're thinking cupcakes and then just one token cake that they could right, cut. Right, one on token them. cake. I love that. It's different. We have chocolate bars that have Matt and Desiree's names on them. Okay. When they're lit up, they are like glorious. Spectacular. Some natural lighting, but a lot of sparkle. The wedding dress, the black ribbon accentuates her waist. It'll complement her figure. So like a white chocolate? Yep, white chocolate. Mm. These are fantastic. Long, tall ones in the vases with some roses and those sparkles in them. You're thinking like high center pieces. High. Rather than have a lot of flowers that interrupt conversation, you just have a nice flickering candle that sets the ambiance for that sort of classy affair. The Piece de resistance. I want pearls like draped everywhere. This kind of is the whole wedding, right? Diamonds are tacky, too glittery, and not the classy, elegant look that we're going for. The glittery, razzle dazzle ball. So, disco ball. With all of this, my head is sort of spinning. We have tons to work with. Let me put together the perfect presentation for Desiree and Matt, and hopefully they'll love it too. Lots of luck. Oh, thank you so much. Okay. I think I might just win this. I don't know if Desiree and Matt are gonna go for either of these pitches. Both visions need refining. I've got my work cut out for me. There's no competition, basically, between the two of us. It's, it's over. Lorette has to worry about the razzle-dazzle in me. I'm still picking glitter off of everything. <laughs> it's time for Desiree and Matt to judge their mom's hard work. Nervous? Very nervous. It's a big thing. What the happy couple don't know is that both their mothers are watching and listening from a secret hiding place. They're looking a little worried. Behind these screens are the presentations that represent the most important day of your lives. Now you two have to decide which one best represents you. My goodness, we're in trouble. <laughs> Are you ready to see what one of your weddings could be? Definitely. Definitely. Oh, oh, wow. Jump. So much to take in. Very sparkly. <laughs> so, wow. <laughs> hey, really. <laughs> I know I'm a little country, but that's, that's kind of crazy. Oh. Hay? Candy apples on hay. Nice, that's classy. So the theme for this wedding is winter wonderland in the country. Mm. Country elegance. Sparkles are, are wonderful. What? In a barn. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Give it a chance, Dizzle. Give it a chance. I like the colors. Very festive, very warm. Definitely like that. Yeah. Hot chocolate. Candy apples as favors. They're something you don't see at every wedding, so it's different, and I like that. Good, Matt. Rather than a traditional wedding cake, cupcakes. Oh. How about Sue, the cutest ring bearer ever? Why not? If you have hay, you might as well have a dog. Now, your gown is very classic, very elegant. Definitely some sort of black sash. I do like the dramatic black sash idea, but I was never in the market for something with sequins or bling at the top. I'm open to the black sash. Great. I love the overall vibe that I'm getting from this. How about we take a look at the next presentation? Definitely. Yes. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Very different. It's like night and day. <laughs> totally different. So it is a absolute chocolate themed wedding fit for Jackie O. Don't like that idea at all. A little more contemporary, but definitely classic. The color scheme would be shades of chocolate. So the history of chocolate explained in cards that would be on the dinner tables. We're sure it's not chocolate overkill. <laughs> what? Never too much chocolate. We have a really pretty low arrangement filled with candles, so bringing a lot of warmth to the space. The candles are, are pretty subdued. Uh, I would prefer something more dramatic. Oh. These we thought were great rather than a guest book. Polished stones. People could actually sign their names on them. That's could, neat. And your wedding gown. Strapless, elegant. A good bit of work here, embroidery, um, some detail, lots and lots of detail, actually. But definitely cinched in, strapless, with an A-line sort of ball gown silhouette. That sounds great, too. Yeah, I'm excited. 
This would be more or less a traditional wedding cake. The colors, I'm not too sure about. No, 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 it's fantastic. Well, it sounds like you guys have a lot to discuss. We do. I'll leave you for a few minutes. When I get back, you'll give me your decision. Okay. All right. I'll try. Good luck. Thank you. <laughs> what do you think? Lorette and Anne are cut off while Desiree and Matt decide which of their moms will be the wedding winner. Okay, so I hope we find out soon. They're both great in their own ways. Um, I don't know what we're going to decide. I have to get past the purple and brown. I definitely like the cupcake idea. Me too. The sparkle is really fitting for the season too. I feel confident. Okay. Once we've made our decision, who's going to break the news to our moms? You have a way with words that will both make them feel comforted <laughs> in whoever's we don't choose. I don't want to hurt anybody, and I think you should mm. just recognize that it's my special day. <laughs> the bride and has all the do tough decisions. <laughs> the hard work. It's all on you. Period. <laughs> End of discussion. <laughs> Okay, guys, deep breath. <laughs> it's time. We're okay with that. We've made our decision and it wasn't easy, but we're firm on our decision. Okay, guys, don't tell me. Okay. Tell your moms. <laughs> oh, no. This is gonna be hard. So, Desiree and Matt, what you don't know is that your moms have been backstage watching and listening to all of your comments. We did. I'm sorry for anything hurtful that we said. It's OK. I'm going to leave you guys to tell them who you decided on. OK. All right, come on. I'm going to let Matt take this one. <laughs> we really do like them both. There's certain aspects of each that are not our favorites, as you are well aware. We're waiting. <laughs> We're waiting. <laughs> Um, so after some talking... Lots of back and forth. Mm -hmm. We have decided to go with... Lorette's plan. You are kidding. This is the biggest thing since sliced bread. I couldn't be any more excited about planning for my daughter's wedding. Don't cry. We love you. I'm so sorry. Don't cry. I am pretty shocked. To be really honest with you, I am. It's OK. Though, you know, you have to go with bunches, right? And we still want you to be a big part of the wedding. OK. Matthew, oh. give me <laughs> Sorry, Mom. Don't cry, OK? A uh, little bit upset. Breaking the news to my mom was hard. I had an awful feeling in my stomach, and I was just thinking, I'm about to marry into this family, and I don't want Matt's mom to hate me for the rest of my life. I mean, that's beautiful, right? It's quite unusual. A little busy. But we need you to be on board, because this is what our wedding's going to look like. Right. Lorette, congratulations. Thank you. You both did a magnificent job, but you're to be Lorette's assistant throughout the wedding planning process. Yes. I hope that you can work together. We're good with this, right? You are. We're oh, good with it. It's I'm thinking good. about it. I'm not a pushover at all. If I don't like an idea, she's going to hear about it. <laughs> what, 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 what? You want me to be your assistant? I do. Please. Be a little nicer. Lorette is pretty good. driven, pretty assertive, um, and she likes the idea that she's now going to be in charge. It's her daughter's wedding. But Anne, um, she's got a strong way about her, and uh, I think she's going to give her a run for her money. With less than a week till the big day, it's time to tackle Desiree's biggest desire, the dress. Nothing is more important to a bride than choosing her own wedding dress. And That's whatever enough. decision Lorette makes, Desiree is going to have to live with. Out. Out. See ya. Wouldn't want to be you. Oh, this is the one. This is the one. Uh, no, that'll make her, no. No, 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 Because no, no, the waist? we have the same figure, and that would be. That's what you think? You have the same figure as well, Desiree? Well, she's taller, but. I think I should get a choice here. What about this? I don't know, though. It might be I too like much. That one. We'll keep that one in mind. And give There's it a so try, Lorette. You have from. to be a little bit more open. Desiree is blindfolded. She won't get to see her dress until her wedding day. 
Oh, yeah. It's all on her oh, yeah. mom, Lorette. Look at that. Oh, as it comes down the aisle, that's fantastic. Very princess. It doesn't seem like something that would be me. You're, an, it, you're not you. It's your wedding day, for heaven's sakes. You're, you're a princess for a day. I'd like to try another. I'm not feeling it. Oh, oh, oh. Wow. I think it's a little flowery around it's parts hard. of it. Teeny tiny little waist, and the way it all, it's very regal. It really is. I'm glad you have me here to assist you because you need a little bit of like mm. some honesty here. Give it to me. What's the honesty? I hate it. And I think the sooner you get that off, the better. Ouch. This is ridiculous. Like I'm fuming. Ooh, that's the one I picked. Quite beautiful. No. No, it's like almost like a mini skirt. Well, it's just I tried. Barmaidy. We don't do bling. Bling is not our thing. Your mom's in charge. Welcome to my life. <laughs> well, that is pretty. No. Thoughts? I think it's too high. Absolutely sensational. I don't know who to trust. It's not a oh. wedding dress. Oh, the back smashing on you. It's all good. It's all good. A little too much. It seems a bit ridiculous that I tried on like 20 dresses. I'm exhausted and I'm frustrated and I'm just annoyed and I don't even know if it's gonna work out. Fantastic, yeah. It's pretty plain. Haven't we figured it out already, ladies? Hey, no, 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 I've got it. I've made my decision. I'm good, okay, that's it. You don't have to try on any more. All right, or are we not gonna chat about this? Obviously, it doesn't seem really important what I have to say. I am trying hard to be your assistant. Do it your thing and I think I'll meet you downstairs, okay? Okay, well, I do need your help with other things. I just wanted to wait outside because I needed to take a breather. My mom, I just am worried that she'll buy something that would suit her, but not me. I don't want to look like my mom. Bottom line is, bride's mother, mother knows best. With the big day looming, the moms dip into Lorette's inspiration for the chocolate-covered wedding. Come on this way. And I really, really need your help here. This has a, like a phenomenal selection. Because of the, the huge variety of them, I couldn't possibly discern between one or the other, you know, the ambiance, the aroma. Chocolate's chocolate. It's this delicious. is not chocolate. This is, this is Nirvana. Just have a bite of that one. Oh, this one's made mm. with some wine. <gasps> Mango. If you would try that one. Do I have to try this one too? Of course. She wasn't very responsive. She wanted to help. Come on, help. I want you to try this one here. <laughs> Give me a moment, girl. Uh, you're not driving, right? Right now, <laughs> no, today? No, I'm not okay, driving, Lorette. These are filled with whiskey and passion fruit. I think with you, I need the whiskey. Uh, this was a wonderful opportunity for her to have some fun, and we could hopefully bond. Don't you uh, think we've tried enough, Lorette? Lorette, it's chocolate. No, no, it's not. It's Everyone the likes... It's the center core. It's the theme. It's everything about the whole thing. It's it's pivotal. With Lorette, I've had more chocolate stuffed down my throat in this short time here than I've had for the last year. I'm certainly not gonna eat all these chocolates. I've got a dress to get into. Lorette wants her vision to be seen through to the letter. We're just gonna go down here for an outfit for you. It'll be- For me? For you. I think I can dress myself. Let's go. Let's do Lorette's thing. Mm. Okay, so there might be something here that will be perfect ah, to help with my yes, vision. Yes, red! That's the reduced to clear rack. We're not going there. Over here, these are all the chocolates, which is sort of in keeping with what it is that I'm trying to do. Just um, um, have a little look at this, okay? Now, this is just the top, Lorette, of course. I know you're little, but Lorette, there is a I skirt that I don't want with. sleeveless. No, there's a jacket. I have, I've thought of everything. It's all good, not to worry. Here we go. So, Anne, come on out. I want to see it. Um, do you have it on yet? Yes, I have it okay, on. Okay, come on. You've got to be kidding me. No, no, just no. Try What it. are you wearing for the it. wedding? She wants to, like, really upstage me. Just let me look like myself. I do not want to wear this dress. It needs to just be, look at how beautiful. Lorette, I'm trying That's to cooperate. Sweet. That's what I said I'd do, but I don't like this dress. And I would really like it if you'd let me wear what kind of, I would like to wear it to my son's wedding. Because you're getting to wear what you want to wear to but your daughter's wedding. But it's my vision. Wedding. It's my vision. But what, there's supposed to be a little bit of give and take here. Come on. I That's do great. not want to wear this. Give Are you really bit. thinking I'm going to wear this? You have to give a little bit. Well, I've had enough. I've had enough. Oh, and you're not. What am I going to do? 
this isn't working. This isn't Get working. This You're not cooperating. I want it for both of our children. You can't just like show up in some, I don't know, red dress or something. It would be appalling. It would look so de classe. There's no way I'm going to go to a wedding looking like that. There's absolutely no way. I don't know how we're going to fix it. Gina can be very persuasive. I think I'm going to ask her to kind of, you know, give me a hand. Gina arrives just in time to try to keep the peace. The moms are at an impasse. If I can't get Lorette to hand over some control and give Anne some of her vision back, this wedding is not going to happen. I'm not angry. I am upset. I don't understand why she's not cooperating with anything. She doesn't like my ideas. She's very stubborn. I'm so frustrated. I just don't know what to do with her anymore. Well, she's upset. Mm -hmm. So why don't you ease up on picking her out the dress that you want her to wear? But what if she wears something atrocious? Just let her wear it. She knows what the color palette is. She knows how to dress. But the pictures, they're for a lifetime. Fashion sense, I have it. She doesn't. Give her the dress. Let it go. <sighs> all right, all right. It's, I came to you for advice, so OK, thanks. And there's one more thing. Oh, boy. I think that you should give Anne just a little bit of her fun, fresh winter wonderland theme in your wedding. Give her control of, let's say, the dessert table. But that's not small. That's important. It's going to be out at the end of the night. You're going to have your vision completely, completely done throughout the evening. Candy apples. Candy apples. That's, beaver there's, tails, there's hot chocolate. Beaver tails. <laughs> this is so wrong. No, I don't know about that. That's so de classe. Candy apples at a wedding? We'll make it fresh. We'll make it posh. We'll make it chic. <sighs> OK. Let's bring Ann in. Hi, Ann. Have a seat. Lorette happened to get here a little early. And we had a chat, and we came up, I think, with something that you're going to be really happy with. You guys came up with something you thought I'd be happy with? Well, actually, Anne, I think you're going to find that it's a good thing. First off, you get to pick and wear whatever you want on the wedding day. Now, oh, that sounds fantastic. Oh, Lorette doesn't look too happy with that, but I'm excited. Thank you. And something else, right? You get to have full control of the dessert table at the wedding. Really? Yes. I'm on board. Yep. You get the dessert, you get a dress. All right, enough of this. Let's get busy. Let's get to work. Go plan a wedding. This way, girl. Now Anne's holding the reins, and she's okay. taking Lorette for a spin around the local okay. farmer's market. You don't want beaver tails? I think it sounds oh. so awful. Well, so I'm beaver willing. Beaver tails. Here, have a beaver tail. I'm willing to give a bit for I you. Know, I know, so I know. Got some more things to show you that I'm interested in for the dessert table. Okay. Um, uh, I'm all ears. Yes. Well, I think what we should do is go to the candied apple table. So we're going to put the apple in and spin it and make the candy apples. So you okay. just go across. Ooh, that looks back. great. Back, it's a little thick there, and try to give it a little spin. That's really hot. On the tray. I think get, that looks get an a little apple, dangerous, Anne. Get it down low. Across, cover the apple, spin, mm. spin. What a show off. Put it down. I don't. Lorette, it's a Why an are apple. we doing this anyhow? Don't you For just go and buy table. these kind of things? Let's go. Lorette, look enthusiastic. This is for your daughter's wedding. Um, Put her on the tray. Don't <laughs> down, get yeah. down. Don't, you don't want to burn yourself. Yep. <laughs> look at this. Uh, Lorette. It's called I told candied I apple. You're Sorry, I do something thing. else for a living, OK? This, this is, is fun. disgusting. Yep, that's good. Voila. OK, get it all covered. You're crazy. Excellent. Look at that. There's only a tiny bit of the apple top showing. You know what? I like the apple top showing, because then people will know that it's real food, as opposed to candy. I Great don't job, know how I'm this impressed. qualifies as dessert, and Okay, let's go. A couple more dozen to go, at least. Are you joking? <laughs> I am not joking. Candy apples. I mean, seriously, if I'd had any idea that this is how I was going to be spending my time, I would have, I don't know, put on a little country ensemble like Ann was wearing. I want to check in with Desiree and Matt. With so much going on, I hope they're not getting cold feet. 
So, how are you guys feeling? I'm stressed about everything. I'm I'm really freaking out. I can't believe I'm not going to know what my own wedding dress looks like. It's actually pretty outrageous. I've sort of always dreamed of being able to choose something that was so beautiful and and now that control's been given to the mums, I have nightmares about it every night. Do you have any concern? My main concern would be with my mom. The days that she comes home from being with Lorette, she's a little stressed out. We kind of had a breakthrough. Um, we were able to give your mom a little bit of control as far as the wedding goes, and they both know how you want to look and feel on your wedding day. They are not going to steer you wrong. So stop stressing out. Well, be ready for the 3 a.m. phone call then. <laughs> <laughs> so hang in there. OK. While the bride and groom-to-be lay low, Gina rallies the troops for a wedding rehearsal. Desiree will be right here, and Matt will be right here. I'll have you next, yep. and then my next gentleman right here. And tomorrow, girls, you'll be holding your bouquets. My flower girls will be right in this line. Perfect. Good job, guys. I think we're ready to have a wedding. All right. That went well, huh? Oh, yeah. I, I'm just a little nervous. Nervous, sure. The yeah. mother of the bride. Well, yeah, yeah. There's so many people, you know, haven't seen them in a long time. Especially, you know, Des's dad, and yeah, it's been a really long time. How long? About 20 years. Yeah. 20 years? Yeah. Wow. Oh, it's a tough day. Girl, let's get you a cocktail. Come on. Oh, yeah. Or three. There's no time for Lorette to dwell. She needs to put on a brave face for the wedding rehearsal party. Excuse me. Can I get everyone's attention? So thank you so much to all of you for being here and making um, our wedding day perfect. Well, we think it might be well, perfect. We're not And there we're hoping yet. it will be. I'm freaking out a little bit. I have no idea what the decor is going to look like. I wouldn't be surprised if Anne's dessert table didn't match the decor at all. Lorette is going to be blown away by the dessert table. I'm so tired. I just don't even have it in me. And what's a piece of all of it? And it's like not gelling with my vision, that's for sure. I think things are definitely going to clash. And most importantly, my dress might be hideous. I'm not going to get any sleep tonight. And the makeup better be fabulous, because I'm going to have crazy bags under my eyes and just be exhausted. I'm a little bit nervous. I'm not going to lie. I really don't know what's going to happen, but I'm hoping that everyone understands that I haven't planned anything, and this is just coming and You should just pull the whole thing off. After five years, Desiree and Matt are to be married today. Everything has to be perfect. Lorette's not leaving anything to chance. Hi. Hey. hey how are you? Good. Uh, so, it's not too much done yet, eh? Well, I mean, we just got in. Okay. Um, which we're used to, don't worry. Okay. So, and sweet table, uh -huh. we're going to put right here. Oh, no, no, no. We can't have it here because this is where everybody enters, and that would be the first thing they see. Can we put it, like, is there a closeted area or something behind, like, a, I don't know, like, some of these drapes or something? A closet. OK, whatever. But at least at the other side of the room where the majority of our guests will not be able to see. OK, OK. We'll move some of these tables down, and we'll have the dessert oh, section awesome. over Thank there. Thank you. That's wonderful. Thank you. Thanks, Gina. Your centerpieces uh -huh. are not here yet. What? Uh, th it, that's OK. That's not the problem. Uh, they, There's a problem? Well, they called me, and the shade of purple that they have the is... eggplant. It, it's not eggplant. But it has to be eggplant. Everything's eggplant. It's it's tough just because it's the dead of winter. They're having a, a problem getting a color that... They that, fly flowers in from all over the world. It's a little bit of a problem right now. They're sending some lighter problem. shades. We, ha we have to have the eggplant. That's the accent color. We have to have it. Okay. So you're not OK with just adding in a little more ivory or a little more of the lighter? No. Okay. No, no, no. We have to. That's key to the vision. Purples are, are royalty. They're elegant. They're, that's imp so important. It's what you want. We have to get it. I will work on it. It's situations like this that drive me absolutely crazy. No matter how many weddings I plan, there are always last minute fires to put out. But it's 24 hours before the wedding. It's crunch time. I need to see Des in the dress. Lorette leaves Gina to find the perfect shade of flowers and arrives at Anne's house to deliver Desiree's dress. OK, thanks. OK, you ready? Really? Yes, really? You're really ready? OK, spin. on the count of three. 
One, two, three. What do you think? Do you like it? I love it. It's such a nice fit. Isn't it beautiful? Look at you. It's absolutely perfect. It's like it was made for you. Look at all the beautiful little details. It's beautiful. You couldn't look more magnificent. Everything is just, it just so perfectly complements you. Everything's perfect. You look great. I never ever expected to have such a beautiful dress. Thanks. Thanks, Mom. Thank you. I'm really happy with it. She looks beautiful. And thank you, Anne, too, it's for really beautiful. And it suits you. It's beautiful. It's not quite what I've chosen, but mine would have been totally different. And how this looks on you is fantastic. I really wanted it to be dramatic, but still elegant. And I think you did a really great job doing that. Of course, Mom. it's elegant. And it's beautiful on you. You look amazing, like a princess. I hope it all comes together later today. Oh, it will. Don't worry. Everything's under control. Can I just have a little chat with Des sure. for a sec? Certainly. See you. Call me when you want me back. OK, okay? thanks. Thanks. See you, Anne. See you. Come on over here for a sec, honey. OK. OK, um, we haven't had a chance to talk. I need to sort of know what this story is about walking down the aisle. Who's going to walk you down the aisle? Well, you, of course. Good. <laughs> but also Dad. Your dad. My dad. At the same time. Is that going to be OK? Is that going to be OK? Yeah? Yeah. OK. Of course, it's your day. OK. It's whatever you want. If that's what you want, that's what I'll do. It's your wedding day. I can't believe it. Mm. We'll get ready. Yeah, let's. A wedding to go Come on. to. Let's go. table over there, which is going to be great to have. I'd really appreciate it. It's the day of the wedding, and Anne is scrambling to finish her Winter Wonderland dessert table. Oh, my. Wouldn't want to ruin the effect of yeah. the cake. No one will ever notice. <laughs> Gina. Hey, how are you? How's it going? Eggplant. Oh, uh, this, wonderful. This eggplant that is accordion? eggplant. Okay, that good. is magnificent. Fantastic. Oh, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. What's up? How are you? The only thing I'm still kind of like, not, I'm not freaking, but like, have you seen Anne? Did you see what she's wearing? Her wedding attire? You don't know that. No, I do okay. not know. Do you want to have a seat? Okay, just for, yeah. Yeah, so. Feeling okay? Yeah, no, I'm just kind of, my head's just kind of, I just was talking to Des and, um, yeah, she's. I thought I was walking her down the aisle, and now it turns out it's uh, not just me. She's going to have her dad and myself walk her down the aisle. Oh. Yeah. OK. Just like, I'm just trying to get my head around it, basically. Yeah, so. Because it just wasn't sort of how I, you know, envisioned it or. But yeah, this is what we're doing. I, I understand it's tough. I can't imagine. OK, thank you. But we're going to get you Thanks. through it. Thanks. Go get changed. OK. Ready or not, it's time for the wedding. I hope I can get this wedding underway without any more problems. Loretta is going to be seeing her ex-husband for the first time in 20 years. I have no idea what Anne's wearing. The whole thing could fall apart at the last minute. Lorette's put a smile on her face and is ready to share the aisle with her ex-husband. It's all good. You're going to do great. Here comes Lorette, but she's walking with her own husband. And Desiree's dad walks down the aisle with his wife. There's been a last minute upset, and now, no sign of the bride. Dearly beloved, 
we are gathered together here to join together this man and this woman in holy matrimony. I, Matthew, take thee, Desiree. I, Matthew, take thee, Desiree. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. I, Desiree, take thee, Matthew. I, Desiree, take thee, Matthew. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. I pronounce that they be man and wife together according to God's holy ordinance. It was a huge success. Matt was really, really happy, which was great to see. Desiree looked absolutely beautiful. Lorette got her entire theme. It was chocolate extravaganza. I'm gonna ask everyone to stand, please, while we welcome the bride and groom. was going to be walking Desiree down the aisle and then we realized it was a very small church and she had a very large dress so at the very last minute we had to decide that we would be up at the front and she would come down on her own. I was so proud of the fact that she did that. She was very brave. I'm I thrilled. Couldn't be happier to be married to her. When I first saw her in the wedding dress I was absolutely stunned and I couldn't imagine the wedding being any better than it was. She's the most beautiful person in the world. When I first saw my mom's decor, I was really, really impressed, and I think she did an amazing job. I couldn't have planned a more beautiful wedding myself. Even though it's not my vision. Because <laughs> everything is beautiful. Give it up, girl. It's elegant. <laughs> so for now. It's elegant, and there really aren't enough words to say how I feel right now. Anne really excels when it comes to really delicious sweets, and my God, did she do a good job. You give Anne one thing to have control over, and she goes a little crazy, but the crowd really loved it, so no harm done. The cupcake was great, and I can't wait to eat more. I'm gonna have cupcakes, I'm gonna have chocolate-covered pretzels, I'm gonna have candy apples. I think we put her in charge <laughs> of the right thing. Mm. I was so concerned about what Anne was going to wear. I was genuinely congratulatory with the elegance of her ensemble. I thought she looked amazing. It's fantastic. Yeah, I know. We're, We're happy. We should do this happy. for a living. <laughs> There were quite a few in-law wedding wars, but at the end of the day, I think everybody sort of came together again, and that was great to see. So a successful wedding all the way around. I would like to take this opportunity to, again, thank our fabulous mothers. Ladies, you look beautiful tonight, and, and we owe this entire occasion to all of your hard work, and you put your whole heart into it, and we can't tell you how much we appreciate that. We're feeling the love. <laughs> feeling the love. It's all good. We bonded. Here's to this fabulous <laughs> dessert table. Cheers. Cheers to a great wedding. Yeah. A gorgeous, fantastic couple.